Are you the permaculture expert here? Oh, I wish. What's your brother? Yeah, we both know a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you want to take a walk? Or a spirit? Or yes, we are taking a walk. We're following you. Okay, let's go. You've been here before how many times? Uh, this is my fourth time here. Awesome, so you know a little something, something then? Yeah, yeah. The permaculture is really just about Anything. That's a good point. I repeat that again. Uh, permaculture is basically recycle everything. No wasting. No nothing gets thrown away. Nothing gets thrown away. Really? And this, these here is the uh, compost pile. They do everything with those compost piles. Um, they leave them right here for 31 days, and uh, you, from that point you can make the mushrooms. You can start your your plant beds. You can do anything with these compost piles. So these are the most important part of this whole operation. Between that and the solar panels on top of us. Uh, <laughs> top of it. Yeah, solar, solar. So yeah, we can walk this way. These are the um, living quarters and the bathrooms for the for the different workers and at the institute here. I think this is a female dorm. Down there is where they uh, sanitizing the. The compost, sawdust stuff, and the uh, stained buckets there. Uh, like I said, these are 31 days they have to sit. Cultivating, cultivating, marinate. It's very hot inside of there too. It will burn you. Okay, right now we're walking down. They have each each thing labeled, so if you if you you know want to know about the plants. Everything is labeled by their scientific name and their common name. Ebony trees. Okay, right now we're walking up on the mushroom section here. Mangifera indica. Mangifera indica, that's what a mango scientific name. Mm. So you got all the mushroom bags out here. Mushroom bags just like we seen at the other one. This is the steel quarters here. Oh, what we got here? What, what we got here? How are you doing? Right here they um they preparing the um the mushroom things that in the distill. How do, how does this work again, brother? Sting. Oh, my, my senior's here. Oh your senior's here. Hey, salute brother. He's coming around this way. He's bagging them up right now. They're bagging them up. See how dark the, the stuff is about after the 31 days. Hey, my, my brother. I want to ask you about the sanitation skin process. Just very quick, just tell us, tell us about this. Uh, this one. Oh uh, yeah, the, the process. How long is it and what does it do? Uh, um, we are in the process of the production of oyster mushroom. Yeah. So after we finish the bagging, we just sterilize it for three hours okay. just to keep, um, kill the bacteria while during the compost, during the bagging, maybe some bacteria may enter the bag. That can make the um, bags contaminate. Uh. So we just sterilize to make sure those bacteria are there. So that's why we have So are they in the bags inside of the barrels? Yes, the bags are inside. Okay, and the yeah. steam sterilized. Yes. Ah, indeed. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Welcome, sir. Ah, <laughs> How you doing, so yeah, we're gonna keep on walking around. Okay. Uh is this where they uh extract the uh, yeah, this is the extraction thing. These a couple moringa trees over there. There's a fence situation. Chicken coops. They uh they actually use some of the compost to make a special kind of uh maggot. Yeah. The, the fly is called the black soldier fly. Mm. And these maggots have the uh the highest um calcium which which the, the fowls love and they be big big <laughs> chickens now. Mm. So uh the black soldier fly, I'm I'm gonna try to, you know, see what's up with that and see what I can do to get 
get some black soldiers. This is where they bottle up the uh, products. Oh, think we should look through here. Uh, let's take a gander. Yeah, let's take a gander. Please, it says change your shoes on, on time. Oh, don't. Yes, yeah, said please change your shoes. Oh, okay. well, we ain't gonna worry about it. Then. Yeah. Yeah. These are the products, man. Moringa ointments, uh, cosmetic products. to this and they make a honeycomb for each one of these so at the end of it each one will have a, uh, a piece, a piece so to it. So you don't have to destroy the whole comb to get your uh, Yeah so you can just let it drip and each one of them will have honey on it so this is a really cool method that I picked up and when I, when it gets to uh, making some some honey and, and cultivating bees. Yeah. We're gonna this do is the like exact that. process we're going to do. Yeah I'd love to do all of this on the land. Yeah. yeah and then yeah, just have yeah. our you know Operation in between, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 that's, we, that's the only way I see this built, you know, growing mm -hmm. and building from that one. Just yep. like you say, it, it's, you know, permaculture is really just the foundation of this recycling mm -hmm. or the art of recycling. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got a got a brother over there getting us some lemongrass. All of this stuff, man, it keeps mosquitoes. You'll never get a mosquito bite here. So all of it's these good. lemongrass and centinellas, they they kill the mosquito. Big juicy mango. Ready. Big juicy mango. Ready for one of them. water system going into the pot yep so whenever it rains the water just collect there you ain't got to really worry about it it's a super cool so smell going down here mm -hmm. that's why i stayed when i was in the that's a lot of, lot of mangoes yeah. for a small mango tree a donkey oh, hanging out yeah, this is where we hung out when I was here. All of this is uh, being used. They're going to take that up and put it with the compost. And one thing is for sure, composting is the most important thing. Nail dorms, that's all that's down there. And this is a farm that they have. I think they're doing tomatoes, bell peppers, cucumber, onion. Um, and then they got the lemongrass sentient near there, so that's what that is on the on the right side. Gorgeous view of the rocks too. Yeah, it's a beautiful this is a beautiful piece of land. Yeah man, you think we can transform the plot of land uh, well not the plot, the uh repatriation land that we got uh, Oh yeah, each and make it something similar to this in the nature of just mm -hmm. <laughs> We can do it. We are gonna do it. And you guys are the expert, man. We're gonna make this happen. Them, tur them turkeys right there. Yeah, them turkeys, yeah. yeah. Got the man with a couple wives. <laughs> you know. Right around here, it goes, uh, connects to the beekeeping part of it. And a lot of people didn't know that Ghana had a permaculture institute. You know, even the Ghanaians don't know that this is the permaculture institute of Ghana right here in, in the middle of the, the country here. I mean, it's. It's awesome. They they teaching people from Belgium, teaching people from uh, you know Germany. All of these, all of them come to Ghana to learn the process of of, of permaculture. Can we get back to that? Yeah, I think we can. We can connect from this way. More centenary. This this type of stuff is is important for 
keeping down the pest bugs and Keep the malaria down malaria all of the things and then you know it, it brings in the good bugs like bees and you know things that butterflies butterflies yeah yeah stuff that pollinates your um your crop that you got growing okay maybe you can't go from there to here but uh we might need to go around this is some more some more garden they got going on okra i can see can't really tell whatever that is corn over there a lot of contemporary growing I don't really know what these trees here are, huh? but let me smell. I don't know. Corn? Yeah, definitely. 